And Evan Bouchard has joined our esteemed panel for After Hours. So, Scott Oak, over to you. Happy St. Patrick's. Ron, thank you very much. Yes, Evan Bouchard coming into his own now as a premier NHL defenseman, playing two rave reviews in his third full NHL season. The owner-operator of the Bush Bomb. Came up with that name, do you know? I honestly couldn't tell you. I've been asked this question so many times, so I should probably get to the bottom of it. Okay. I wish I, I really could take know. credit for it, but I don't think no? I can. We'll it just started around to for you. float around, and yeah. we just stole it. <laughs> Perfect. We'll All right. Uh, <laughs> obviously, we have to start with the game. Uh, always tight between the Avs and the Oilers, it seems. And the Avs are a team that, if you're to get out of the West, you may well have to face in the playoffs. Louis. Uh, what a game. You know what, listen, not surprising this one goes the overtime. Six of the last seven games you played against this team have. This one was no different. I mean, what was it like out there in that battle? Because it looked great from where I was. Yeah, no, it was a great game. Those are games that uh, you want to play in, especially down the stretch. Um, you know, it wasn't the result we wanted, but I think it's a... Uh, the game that we needed to have. I look at this game and both of you teams, obviously we know about your offense, how good you can be offensively. You're both teams were buckling down defensively as well. This was like a playoff game tonight. Yeah, no, it definitely had that feel to it. Um, that's why I think uh, down the stretch is kind of the way we wanted to play. 3-2 um, game is uh, you know, a game that we'll take as long as we're on the winning end of it. Okay, we move on, Evan. There was something that happened uh, a couple of months ago that I think passed almost unnoticed, and uh, we feel it's our responsibility on this program. Uh, the show of record, we have hundreds of viewers, as you probably know. Uh, we feel it's our responsibility to bring it to the attention of the viewing public. I'm talking about the Oilers' skills a couple of months ago, where Cody Cece's hardest shot was measured at 102.9, and the Bush bomb did not even break 100. Louis. <laughs> yeah, like... That must have been tough to take, right? Seeing him shoot that puck over 100. <laughs> uh, I mean, you always got uh, a little extra pressure, but Cease can really fire the puck when uh, you know he steps into it. Um, you know what, Cease, uh, give him credit. Like I said, he can pound the puck. That was not the worst of the skills competition. We go now to the rough, rough relay. And your yeah. gorgeous golden retriever, Ollie, set the leading time. It was uh, 7.375 oh, seconds. Nice bit of business here by a well-trained good boy. And then CeCe's French bulldog, Hugo, with legs about a foot shorter, was faster to win the event. Uh, oh, and by the way, we'll see after this. Uh, Connor McDavid's Bernadoodle, Lenny, uh, decided the whole event was beneath him, and he just turned around and left the building. But did the loss to CC's uh, French Bulldog sting even more than the hardest shot? <laughs> yeah, I guess that was uh, CC and uh, Hugo's day. Um, but you know what? I'm just glad uh, Ollie finished the race. Like, uh, we're looking at this. Um, I think they, he figured he won it last year, so yeah. I'm just going home. That's where it was, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm out of here. I've already got a trophy. Train too hard just to do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, opposing defensemen are often asked, what's it like to have Connor McDavid bearing down on you at full speed? So it's only fair with respect to the Avs that we ask you, what's it like to face uh, Nathan McKinnon in full flight? Uh, uh, it's uh, definitely a full task. Um, you need all five guys on the ice. Um, but, uh, no, he's one of the, uh, the best in the game. You can see that tonight. Um, you know, it really takes everyone to, uh, kind of stop me or slow him down early. If not, once he gets going, it's, uh, like I said, it's hard to stop. You face McDavid every day in practice. Is there a difference between them? Like, do you notice a difference in strength or their, their speed or their, their agility? Is there anything different or are they very similar the way they attack you? Uh, kind of similar the way they attack you. You know, he's got, uh, McKinnon's got a lot of power to him. Uh, Dave has got the, uh, shiftiness to them but uh you know when they're when they're on the ice you kind of be aware when both of them are on the ice <laughs> rippin sadu asks uh what do you eat before you unleash the bush bombs <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um i keep it simple i go uh pasta chicken uh vegetables and a salad keep it simple probably uh same as 90 uh, 90 percent of the uh the people all right <laughs> your shot is a significant weapon in the oiler attack louis you know, and I always ask people to have great shots, like how did it come about? Was it something you always had and you knew you possessed that? But you said you put some work in in a, in a basement when you were younger. Yeah, growing up, uh, I had an unfinished basement, so I had the, uh, the opportunity to, uh, you know, get, uh, get reps in, um, shoot the puck, and now I think it's more just about uh, accuracy and getting it by the guys. How uh, many windows did you break in the basement? <laughs> Luckily, nothing. Oh, there you go. Uh, That's pretty good. Yeah, That's not, not bad. Good. But, yeah, you know, I, the one thing I noticed about you, you've gotten more confident in letting that shot go. You find your spots, you're letting the shot go, you're not getting it blocked as much, too. I mean, that's one thing when I watch, your head's up, you're looking where that forward is, and you make sure it gets by him, I'd say, 95% of the time now. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing is getting it by that uh, the first guy in front of you. Um, you do that, chances are it's going to 
you know, being one of the corners because people are so good at blocking the puck nowadays that as long as you can get it by the first guy, it's uh, chances are it's going to be on one of the sides. You've got one of the greatest players in the history of the game coaching the Oilers defense. So uh, Malik asks, I don't know if you'll hit 48 like Paul Coffey, but what impact has he had on your increase in production and your confidence offensively? Yeah, he's been great. Um, you know, he's been really harping on... Uh, everybody on the back end to make plays, um, not just myself. And I think, uh, you know, his calming presence back there, you know, his, you know, he's been teaching us a lot, whether skate the puck out of pressure, you know, make the pass, don't always just throw it away. And I think that's helping myself and uh, everybody else. Do you ever watch video of Paul Coffey in his prime? I haven't, no, but I've heard lots about it. From well, here's me. some for you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> his skating, actually, when you think about it, uh, defied description. <laughs> <laughs> well, honest, honestly, Evan, like, he takes two strides and he's all the way up the ice. He glides for 90% of the time because he's so so smooth on the skates when he skates. Like, yeah. look at him. He doesn't even stride. It's insane. He thinks uh, everybody can skate like him, so I think that's uh, <laughs> what he's got to realize. But, uh, well, that's no. an issue. <laughs> yeah, no, I've heard all about his stories, his goals, his Norris wins, all of that. So it's, uh, no, it's good to have him behind the bench. All right, let's uh, skip ahead to a couple of questions we got here that uh, seem to address uh, a belief that uh, you behave a lot older uh, <laughs> than you look, uh, certainly your 24 years. Are you even aware of this topic of, uh, of your age? Uh, I've heard about it a lot, especially last year when Yamo was around. He uh, gave me a hard time about it, but it didn't help that he was... Uh, no, like five six and looked like he was 18 so uh <laughs> that uh, definitely didn't help the case i don't think all right lively or literally sarcastic asks how does evan feel about being a father figure to 22 other professional athletes on the team <laughs> uh hashtag old man bouchard <laughs> i wish i knew how to answer this question no, you don't have to <laughs> but the follow-up question is pretty good this comes from doug was it difficult teaching ryan nugent hopkins how to shave <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like again, I don't know how to answer this question. Um, <laughs> now that he's got a kid, it uh, should kind of uh, you know ease off, ease off of me a little bit. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this old man Bouchard uh, might have something to do with the fact that you have a five o'clock shadow and nine o'clock every morning. A uh, couple of pictures we'd like your take on. Was there ever any chance you were going to choose soccer over hockey? Uh, no, there was <laughs> not a chance. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. It was uh, between soccer and hockey. I didn't really think hard about that one. You were a pretty darn good athlete, though, too. I, I watched you in Boston sinking three-pointers in the hard court there, and you didn't miss very much, but basketball was a game you played a lot as well. Right? Yeah, basketball was definitely uh, a hobby of mine in high school. Um, you know, moved on from soccer to basketball, but that was, uh, if I would have to pick between the two, it's definitely basketball. Obviously hockey first, but, uh, yeah, basketball is a close second. Okay, Evan, let's finish up with family. It's important to you, and you have a lot of them. Um, let's start with uh, your brothers, Adam, Ryan. Actually, that's your parents. Yep. Um, there's an older picture, two older sisters at the top there. <laughs> uh, but your brothers, and there they are, Adam, Ryan, and Mark. Pick them out for us. Yeah, left side's Mark. He's uh, actually in med school in Ireland right now, graduating this year. Um, the other two, um, coaching soccer, and one played... Uh, Adam, right beside me on the other side, played uh, professional soccer in uh, Uruguay, played for Team Canada a little bit. And Ryan now is uh, running a soccer business, uh, coaching kids, so they uh, mean a lot to me, and uh, they're part of the reason that uh, I'm here today. And the younger sister, Sophie, I think we'll see her in a second here, it brings the grand total to seven. What are family gatherings like? Uh, it's a mess. Uh, <laughs> you can never get uh, everybody together in the... Uh, the same room but when you do it's uh it's always a good time always uh chuckling hassling but it's uh it's good family is important to me evan thanks for your time great to have you in the program of course thank you there's thank you. evan bouchard who's uh exactly the player the oilers thought they were getting when they drafted him in the first round